Hello people of Ark and welcome to my single player world where today we're going to be building our little cargo boat that uh, I did on the Iron Mine Ragnarok server. Um, currently, not currently, someone actually asked me if I can do a step-by-step -step guide to do that. I'm gonna try that, I've never done one of these step-by-step -step guide things. So, over here is uh, all the things that you will need to build it. Um, it's just a bunch of things like the metal fence, not the metal fence foundation, 15 metal foundations, metal triangle foundations, uh, metal walls. I'm building all of this with structure plus. The only thing that I'm not using for structures plus is the, where are they? The wooden pillars. That's what we're going to need first. So over here, we already got our boat all set up and ready to go. Oh, damn it. Can we jump up here, please? Thank you very much. All right. Can we just get on the boat? Thank you. All right. So first things first is we're going to place the pillar. Um, try and get it nicely in the middle, right over here. I think that's pretty much square and center. Just like that. So if you place this guy over here, you'll be able to place one, two, three foundations. Now I want to place it a little bit forward, like right over there against the lip over there. Well, the lip of the square, just like that. Okay, just like so. Now this is going to be low enough for you. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so one over there, one there. One over, we can get rid of this now. Uh, give us five, thank you. And uh, that's it, that's about the height you wanted. As you can see, this is all the way in the water. Well, not all the way, but most of it's in the water. Your boat will be sticking out at the bottom a little bit. But this is perfect, this is all you need. So we're just gonna pump these down right around here. And uh, this should be close to the middle. Now also we want to place a metal hatch frame over here so that we can access the boat right here. We can turn it on, we can drive it, things like that can happen. Now, um, what are we going to do is I think I had five foundations, one, two, one, two, three currently. So we need one to the front over here. If you place a thatch roof over there, I think it'll work with a metal roof as well or metal ceiling depending on what you want to call it, then you can do that and place these things like that. Let's try the metal ceiling. Pretty sure it'll work. It'll confuse you though, because what happens, you want to get rid of, can we, you want to get rid of the, the ceilings because they take up structure slots and you only get 136 on this. So pick up metal ceiling and then we can pick up the thatch ceiling as well and they'll hang around for us without any problems. So. I'm gonna be using the thatch. It's just easier to distinguish between the 17 different things. I hope that is at the right place. Let us see here, pick up thatch ceiling. That's right, okay. I think this was it. I don't know if we can go, let's just see here. I can't remember if we did. How far can we go out? Um, no, let's see here. We'll place one over there. What, why did you do that? keeps falling down. Huh, that's weird. I'm supposed to do that. Let's just see over here. Let me just quickly check this out. Okay, so I found out what the problem was. We were too close to the, well, the bottom of the ocean. That's the thing. That's why it breaks. Um, now it works fine. If I go and place it over here, boom, no issues at all. All right, so then we can do three and three, and we can do one like that. One like that, we can pick this up, pick it up. Probably faster if I use this, but I'm always afraid that I'm gonna hit the bottom one or click the mouse double. Okay, so next up is our little MacGyver. Why can't we have a nearby foundation over here? Maybe, maybe if we do this, I don't know why I'm having these problems. It's always having problems. Can we get? That one done, please. Right there, thank you. And can we get another one? Yes, there we go. That's what we need. All of these, okay, so these are the metal triangle ceilings. I don't think you get them in normal arc yet, but definitely Structures Plus is coming. If they don't bring Structures Plus in, then it's definitely gonna be a major problem. Okay, so these I'm quickly gonna pick up because they're gonna count for 
space on the boats structure space and we don't want structure space on the boat we want as little as possible so make sure it says metal triangle ceiling and then you pick it up otherwise you're gonna have problems so this is the little back end of the boat it's looking good so far so this is one two three four five perfect and now we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna do all of these and uh, basically the same thing as the back we're just gonna carry on and complete these um I don't know if we can make it further at the back. I don't want to because then we start running out of structures place. So uh, we're going to place that one and that one and that one. And then we're going to do the in-between. And then I'm going to bring you back when we do the next line as well. All right. So we got the next line already done over here as well. We're just picking up the ceilings. And things are going pretty good. There's no problems over here. And then we've got the last one over there. Boom, just like that. Pick up middle triangle. And then we're all done with the outline of the base of the boat. I love it. It, it looks really long. Um, you can make it wider if you want. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I did that. You just run out of structures. Oh, I keep forgetting what you call it. Structure spots, <laughs> I guess. So if your server or if your single player world has got more space to... You know what they say on Afrikaans, Bray 8, spread it out. Then you can build some more if you want. It's not going to be a problem. Let's get on here. That's it. That's what we want. Okay, so now we're going to place walls over here right around just like that. Just to give the boats a bit of a uh, height and depth, I think. So we'll place, we won't place that guy yet. We missed the, the corners, the wall, slope walls left and right. That's what we need. So let's grab them as well. Slope walls left and right. Where is that? Over there. And then we also need the half walls, which is very important. There we go. And that's that. So now we should have everything to complete the front. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get on here. Okay. So first things first, let's get the ceilings in. Put one there. And then we're gonna just going to continue that. Now, I don't know if you've been counting, but I haven't been counting how many ceilings we've been using and how many structures we've been using. So next up is this little wall over here because we want to place this guy on top of it like that. And it should be lined up, should look good. I changed the transpar transparency on this, these guys. I filled them up all the way and updated them just so it looks, you know, like it's part of it. And then the rest of them are left normal clear. All right. So here, place another one like that. Um, we can do the ramp so we can get up as well. The ramp I changed into switch to stairs. So cool that you can do that. It looks amazing. I mean, it looks part of a boat. That's what it should look like. And then these ones are pretty tricky. I want to show you how to do that now. Let's just pop this one over here as well just like that so I can't remember if I started from the back or if I started from the front but you see them hopping around now you can press Q and then it'll go to a higher up lower up one so I think that's how I left it I can't remember let's put that one over there if it's higher up there we go we just had it boom like that okay so if it's high press Q then it goes low then it's fine can we get you in there, please, buddy? Perfecto. All right. Perfect. No, you're too high. No, you did it wrong. Okay, pick it up. No, no, not change transparency. Done. Pick it up. There we go. All right, so you stupid thing. Just... No. Sometimes it does this, and then what I've noticed is if you leave it on the high one, then it'll automatically go to the low one for some reason. See, it, it was on the lower one now, and then it went to the high one. So let's just do this again. Low. Let's take it to the high slot. And then it stays high, and always, Murphy, you always come and you mess up my things. No, I can't get this thing right. <laughs> Why? Why is it such a struggle? Just place. It's not. It's not a big issue. There, finally. Okay, so I clicked it quickly. I 
I made it go low and then I quickly tapped the mouse button and that's just it just worked out for some reason. I don't know why. Perfect. Okay. So that looks great. I like how that looks. Um we're going to change this transparency on this side as well. Full up. And there we go. Update. There we go. We're going to put one wall over here. Now, I don't know how you would like the wall. It actually it doesn't really matter. It's depending on where you place it. You can place it inside, outside, in between. Like, there's a good spot. It just blends nicely like that. And then you want to place the door on this side. Also, the same way, you want to get it inside. Can we get it just like that? Perfecto. Now, these are a bit tricky as well. That's why we need the ceilings. We're on the foundation here, so it's fine. If we can just... Is it better on the other side? <laughs> These clicking, clicky things, it's a problem. Um, and we, we just had... Just... Uh, no, I... What? Where did it go? Oh, crap. Did it go underneath? Oh, this is a problem. This is a major problem. So what I usually do for these is I place this over here like that. So another ceiling. And you can just remove it afterwards because now we should be able to place these without much of too much trouble. Let's just go on this side. There we go. We just had it. Perfectly beautiful. And then this one on this side. Now can you can you just place right like that, please? Can we Oh, I keep losing these things. Oh, I'm going to have to find them first because we're wasting a lot of things. So I'll be right back, people. All right, and we're back and I fixed the things. Uh, it was hiding underneath here against the, the foundation. So over here, this is what we want. I'm just getting a better angle over here like this. Uh, that should be perfect. Fantastic. Looks great. That's how we want it. Just like that, like little support for the stairs. Yeah, you're going to see what it looks like underneath here, but um, I don't feel that's a problem. I think it looks good. I don't have an issue with that at all. All right, so next up, we're going to do our windows over here. Not windows, our walls. One day when we can... Perfect, okay. Is the rest of them going to look good? Um, why are you doing that? All right, lined up perfectly. Great. Okay, then we're going to put a door over here. Nobody, you're on the wrong side. We want you on that side. There we go. All right, great. Um, I do have the windows over here as well, and I want to place them a bit because I do have space for them, and I want space for them. So this is going to be a window. Pick up middle wall. I want one window over here, and then... I think what I did was place, yeah, windows at the bottom here as well. I'm just looking at the sketch I have. And then wall. Is that right now? And it actually doesn't matter which way it goes around because they look the same to me on the outside and the inside. So this looks like it's on the wrong way. Yes, that is definitely wrong. So you have to check that out, see if it's the right or the wrong way. Because you want it like that, then it lines up perfectly, just like that one over there. Alright, so then at the back, what I did was, I had a wall over here. And then a window. Just calm down, buddy. Just, why, why are you being like that? Uh, wrong way around. Come on. Is that, that's going to look wrong. No, that's perfect, okay. And then we had a door on this side over here. One day, one. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> and uh, another wall and another window. Perfect. And then we went one story up. Just like that. Window, wall, window, wall, window, window, wall. Window. No, that was supposed to be window, damn it. Window. 
Whoa. All right, and that's wrong. This is supposed to be a wind. There we go. Much better. Okay. Uh, then the next part. So this is just our little, our wheelhouse coming up and being beautiful. So at the back here, what we did, we did the railings. And uh, it's these guys over here, just like that. Boom, boom. And boom. So you've got this beautiful little stoop at the back here. It looks good. Then one up we did. What do we do? We did a wall in the middle. No, we did a wall. Can we do wall? No, not that. <laughs> that is so wrong. That's supposed to be window. Okay, put that back. Number three. Wall. Wall. And then there's going to be a window there. There's going to be a window there. And we want a wall over here. Next up is the ceilings. Now I try to get these always in the right way, like aligned. But it's it's sometimes it's so hard and you just can't do it. Like now it actually came out perfectly for some reason. But previously I was struggling with this and that is definitely wrong. We need to place the, the hatch frame over here. So we're going to do the hatch frame right here. Just like that, and we don't have any ladders, do we? Damn it, why don't we grab the ladders? All right, so we got the ladders. Um, they're over here, and we'll place them. I just placed one right over there, just for easy access to get up. And you can also walk out the door then without an issue. So we'll climb up here, go to the next level. Um, I don't think I've got the glass windows with me. Do I? I think I do. Uh, yeah, here they are. Okay, so let's pop them over there. So we want to put them here for a nice view on... Why are they higher? Oh, because of the ceilings. Okay, we'll have to change this quickly then. Okay, so you need to place the ceilings first. If you didn't know, um, I, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. So over here we got a wall. Now they should be the same height. Then we put a, a window and a wall. And damn it, a window. Oh, they're the wrong height again. Why do you hate me, game? Is that thing higher? What the heck? Perfect. No, not perfect. Oh, I'm struggling so bad at this. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this quick. Okay, so we got that aligned again. My walls were out in the front here, they were on. As you can see, the line over here, they weren't on the inside, they were on the outside. So that's why I had the ceiling issue. So you always got to check if your walls are, are done right. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. And uh, you know I'm full of problems. So let's place that guy over there. And then this guy should not be a problem. Okay, and then we've got just a normal wall over here. High up, please. Thank you. And then... We have this zero buddy right over here. High enough, pretty cool, okay. Now, I think we're gonna need a ceiling for this. Yeah, so we're gonna place the ceilings first over here. And uh, that's number six, going like that, like that. See, the wrong way, I hate that, I, I don't like that. I don't like when it goes the wrong way. Right way, right way. And I know this is a bit low, but if you don't get it, if you get it higher, then you're going to be wasting material space, well, structure space. And structure space is a problem, because you want that very badly. You don't want to waste it, because you want to place nice, cool little thingies. All right, so we got the nine ceilings placed at the top. We can still walk here. It's not a major problem. I mean, our head is sticking through a bit, but as you can see over here, we're going to have a nice view. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure wheelhouses are very low. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a boat guy, and I I don't own a boat, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty low. If you if you know if they're low or not, uh, let me know. And then uh, I'm pretty. Come on, can we? No, that's I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, so this guy almost snapped there. It's that's it. That's what we want. Look how beautiful that is. Now we should be able to get these in without a problem and. They should look fantastical. 
Um, can we swap you around, buddy? Or are you going to be a problem? Maybe we should put this one in the corner over here first. And, oh, we just had you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all about getting the points. You just have to point at something and then it'll fix itself. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that didn't fix itself. That's a problem. Okay. Pick up. Can we please place you again? Will you place right this time, please? Q. Q. There we go. Our wheelhouse is done. It looks beautiful. Now, I do have plans to put in another um, hatch frame over here. You can if you want to, if you want to go to the top or not. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. I mean, it's, it's going to be your build. So, we're almost done with our boat. Um, we just need a few finishing touches, which is these guys over here. And we're going to drop that over there and then one over here. And then what I did was I left this open because... On this side, I placed a, 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 a blah, 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 blah. I placed a, a ladder and the other side a ladder as well. So if you fall off the boat and the seas get super rough, then you know at least you're safe. Um, and that's basically it. That's basically the build of the crab boat itself or the little cargo boat. And uh, I really like it. I didn't place any windows on this one. That means we've got some extra structures left and... Uh, we can place some other things that I really want to place, and I'm going to grab them quickly. Alright, so I grabbed all the things that I wanted to grab, and uh, over here, we're going to place our generator, as we did in the previous... I don't want to place it there, I want to place it over here like this. Almost that it's inside there, but it's not inside there all the way. Can we swap it? You can swap it in there, but it's going to stick through, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to take it back a little bit just over here, just like that. And I don't think it should be sticking through a little bit, but it's not too bad. That's fine. We can live with that. Um, then number two. Where did it go? Why did you Why do you do this? <laughs> where did you go? Oh, crap. Why? Okay, so that placed somewhere. Let's see if this thing's gonna go on. I don't see the electrical. Oh, there's an electrical box somewhere there. Okay, so it is on. I placed a light um, in front over here as well. It was more to the bottom of the side. Um, but I wanna see if we place it like right on top here. If we can, if it's gonna light the spots up better. Actually, I think we should go around and just get in the water over here. I think that'll be better. Let's see, can we, can we place you over here, buddy? I wanted to do one on each side, but it's, it's not a thing. You can't do it. It doesn't want me to. So one over there. Holy crap, what the hell just happened? Something broke. Definitely something broke. I don't know what broke. <laughs> um, everything seems fine. That's weird. That's a weird noise. So let's place this guy over here. We'll see how many, how much lights it makes. All right. So we can turn that bad boy on. Should be good to go. And then I had one over here, right above the door, just like that. Oh, that's not the door. That's the window. And then there were two at the back over here. One on this side. One on that side it says powered that's great previously didn't say power in the previous boats i built on the uh, the member server that's weird all right and then i had a light just in here just to light things up just for fun how far is that one right over there okay perfect all right so let's see what they look like is this one powered as well yes it is okay fantastic so we can make this thing uh, nappy night time because I have amazing skills. I can just go tab and uh, then I can click midnight and then lights should be on. Why aren't you on? Turn on. All the lights are on over here. That is fantastic. Look at that. Our whole boat and the water around it is lit up. I love it. It looks amazing. Okay. So basically that's it people and uh We've just got our little box left that I want to place. 
And uh, we should be getting to the structure limit pretty soon. So our box goes over there. I'm pretty sure it's straight. And then I had another box on this side over here. Oh, we need to swap these things around. That was the main difference. Okay, let me make it daytime again. Alright, daytime again. Arc skills are amazing. Uh, let's do... Hear all the lights popping. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, let's do that over there like that. Okay, K mode out. We'll pick up this guy. We'll pick up this guy. Because uh, it needs to go on this side and not on that side. And then the ladder needs to go on this side. Like that. Perfect. And we need to do that on this side as well. Because we want it to look like a mirror image. That's what we need. Pick up. Zero. And then we place the ladder as well. And then... Boom! Just like that. Now I also have this guy. That's I want to place something like this on um, the Iron Mind server one day when I'm big and grown up and I can afford it. So it's basically gonna be a whale hunting boat. I mean, this is pretty awesome. I mean, look at that thing on the front of this boat. It just looks fantastic. And now I'm wondering if we get on this. Can we exit K-Mode, please? Oh, we just messed up the whole thing. Oh, we're going to drop off anyway. All right, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Now, we can just swim to the side here. Our boat looks amazing. I mean, I love that we have these shapes and structures plus to make a little pointy thingamajigger. All right, so if we do this and then we go K-Mode, no, we can't. Can we jump off now? Yes, that's perfect. I wanted to point it to the front. How awesome looking is... Oh, and of course it would rain. What the heck? Be right back, people. Okay, and we're back, and it finally stopped raining. <laughs> All right, so this thing is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Um, it's crap that we can't go to K menu, but I mean, we can go hunting for whales on this thing. We can just pew pew them, and I wish we could like get a rope or something on there. So this is pretty awesome. I love that. It just looks so great. I love how it looks on the front of this boat. It just fits in here perfectly. It's just fantastic. Okay, so the paint that I used was, uh, let's see here, what did I, I used uh, brick coloring for the base of the boat and then slate for the rest of it. So um, you hold right click in and then you just type, we'll use your space one, two, three, four, five to enable everything in six. And uh, then you can spray the bottom of the boat. And uh, it needs this cool little spray. Because, I mean, that's how most cargo ships and most ships look at the bottom these days. They've got these like this, like, red coloring. But it's not like a full-on red. It's like... It's like an off maroon red curl color coloring. <laughs> and uh, it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to get this all finished up. And uh, I'm going to get the slate uh, melee attack to load more. Okay, rock, that's control for me. All right, I'm going to get this all painted up and get it all nice and pretty. And uh, I painted these ones as well, just so we can get uniformity everywhere. Just so it looks nice and cool and pretty. And that's about it. Oh, you see, this stuff is disabled now. Now we have to re-enable it again. I don't know why I did that. Just so we can paint everything. You can mess around and see what you like. Um which parts you want painted. I mean, you don't have to do these colors. It's all up to you anyway. Can we paint that guy over there? Can we? No, we can't. Not yet. All right, let's do that one. And this is going to spray the stairs, is it not? What if we do that? Oh, we're sneaky like that. Okay. So, what the heck? That's a weird glitch. All right, anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this painted up and uh, then I'll bring you beautiful people back. All right, and we're back, people, and I painted the whole boat, so not everything. I left some of it just the standard rusty metal color. So the top of the ceiling I painted of the wheelhouse and then the windows all around the front of the wheelhouse as well, which it looks fantastic. I mean, look at that right underneath there. It just looks like a boat you don't want to mess with. And... Uh, so the whole wheelhouse I left the normal color, then the back, the floor is all painted red and 
these railings are all painted the slate color and then everything is slate in the front i even painted this guy slate as well and uh that is what our boat looks like now if you don't think this is amazing then i, I don't know what's amazing then come on show me a boat you've got uh post it to me on twitter uh in the comments put a link just tell me where your boat is i want to see it i want to see what it looks like and uh, i think that's gonna be it for this episode people if you people enjoyed the build and one of our first like guide build thingamajiggers then remember to slot that like button remember to share with all your friends i'm vitman have a great whale hunting day people bye bye